Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. Um, I am having a really difficult time of it today. This is the third set of nails that I'm trying to create. The first one was going to be inspired by the movie Inside Out. Um, and I just could not get the profile done of the character that I was choosing to do. So I decided to push that off to another day. Um, and then I tried doing a set of Barbie inspired nails, which I was going to do next week, but I figured since the original design didn't work out, I would jump to that. That wasn't working. It's been about two and a half hours of me trying to get a nail design done and having no luck. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep well last night. Uh, there's a lot of upheaval and changes in my work life and I'm just trying to get something done. So I am switching over to Bohemian Nails, which were um, is one of the um, game card challenges from Blue Rose Nails. And whenever I have trouble doing a design or I have creator's block or I'm just not feeling it, I jump to one of those design card challenges because it really helps just take all the control out of my hand, so to speak, and give me something specific to do. So I'm starting out with this color called Besame by Madame Glam. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen me use it before. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, blues. It's beautiful, light, bluey green, uh, teal. And I did two coats and now I'm just going over it with some um, matte, uh, velvet matte top coat by Madame Glam, just to have a clean surface on which to do some artwork. And it's all gonna be line work so to make things a little easier. Um, so I'm gonna cure this and then we're going to get into the first design. Okay, so now that we've got our velvet matte top coat on, it's no longer tacky, not gonna have to deal with any running and bleeding of the colors. I'm going to go in and replicate kind of this lattice style um, uh, lattice design. That's kind of reminiscent to me at least of a dream catcher, but I'm not going to do a dream catcher because I've done a dream catcher recently and I'm just not in the mood. So I'm gonna start off with a diagonal line Coming in from the left, I'm using a medium length um, gel liner. And then I'm going to bring it up to the right, which is now my left, to mirror it. It is a little wonky, but I'm going to straighten it out, I think, for these longer lines, I'm going to switch to a longer liner to make things a little easier, much better. All right, and then I'm gonna go back to my medium length liner. No, I'm not, I lied, because I have other lines that I have to do. Let's see right here right here and you'll notice i'm moving my left hand not my right hand moving the nail not the brush and i'm using the very top bristles of the brush and that is not even just a little bit of alcohol to wipe that off Okay, so that is mostly even, even enough that I'm not too worried about it. And I'm going to cure that because that's going to be the base of our design. All right, moving on to the shorter lines that connect our main, um, I guess, what is that called? Chevron shape. And it's going to go up from the center
And then I'm just going to try to do parallel lines. All right. And then let's see. Let's do these. On this one, there's more. They go in between the other lines. Sometimes it's easy for me to go lengthwise and sometimes it's I feel more comfortable going widthwise, if that makes sense. You know, up and down versus left to right. It all depends on how stable I feel like my hand is on any given day. Always important to have a cleanup brush with you. Right now I'm using the little baby blender by Nails by Dev because I messed up. Mm. Okay, I'm not happy with that. I am going to use some alcohol and wipe that away. I know you're heartbroken. You're going, what are you doing? But the lines on the top portion were, weren't going the same, same direction as the ones on the lower portion. So I'm going to switch tactics a little. And the ones that line up between each band, I'm just going to draw as one line. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So these lines connect all the way down. And then so do these. All right. So then for the lower portion, all I need to do is draw the lines in between. All right, I'm going to possibly cure this. And then we'll do the horizontal lines. All right, moving on to the horizontal lines. Should be relatively easy. But I say that when today's not been easy at all. Not at all. So I'm going to do three lines on the top. And I'm going to connect them through the other side. And then I'm going to bring them down into the lower portion. and then do the lines in between. Oh. This is why you cure as you go. 
So when you make a mistake, you can clean it up. Alrighty then, so should I use this brush or should I use my long liner? We are going to do the dangly bits now. So the dangly bits come down horizontally. They kind of mirror the direction of the upper bands. Then I'm gonna have one here. I'm gonna flash this and then go and do the cross-secting pieces, as it were. All right, so this is where it gets a little confusing because they're going to connect in two different places, sometimes three. So actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and I'm going to place the cross-secting parts. So they join up here. And these are basically where, if you were dealing with actual lace, this is where it's knotted. And you've also got ones up here. So I might as well just put them in now. And this is what's going to really give it a lot of depth and dimension. And there's actually one more up here. All right, so then they cross here. So now what we're going to do is connect the points. And there's actually one more down here in between. I am going to cure that because I don't want the dots to bleed. So now it's literally all about connecting the dots. So I'm just going to coat my brush and I'm going to go kind of at an angle. So it's gonna go this way and connect down to that dot and then the same on the other side. I'm gonna go this way and connect up to this dot. This way. I'm trying to see if this connects to anything on the other side. I think, okay, so what happens is this connects down here. I'm 
think I'm going to do one more down here. So the last step is just to draw the tassels hanging down, which are basically just loose threads from the knots. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thicken up these lines here to give them a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to cure it and that's going to be this nail done because I'm using Madame Glam's gel paint. It dries without a tacky layer. And since the base layer is matte, we don't have to worry about top coating over it because it's already been top coated. So that is this nail finished. So for this nail, I want a neutrally pink for the background because I'm going to be using these three colors. They're a Querida, a Besame, and Gentle Coral. And I'm going to be mixing together Cherry Petals and Beige Rose. The, ba um, the Cherry Petals is going to serve as the pink aspect of this challenge because that was part of the nail cards um, or one of the nail cards that got chosen rather. I'm just going to use the bottle brush. So I'm going to take off the excess and then mix this together. I think I almost want a little bit more of the beige. Perfect. And I'm going to do two coats of this before going on to the design. Um, I just want to mention that if you are going to use the bottle brush to mix colors, you make sure you wipe it off well before it goes back into the bottle so you don't risk contaminating it and causing the color to change. Because we want our colors to remain the colors that they were in the beginning. In the beginning. All right, so we've got our background color and I've gone and matte coated it so that we can get in with the design. And that is what I am going to do. I'm going to use my long liner once again and I'm just going to use it to lay in the bands of color. Um, I'm thinking I want Kedida in the center, slightly off center. I was going to make a joke that I'm slightly off-centered, but I think you all know that. So if you can see, I'm laying the brush flat against the nail and just dragging it. I'm letting the brush do all the work. I'm just slowly widening it till it gets to the level to the level of thickness that I want it. Filling in any bare spots. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the blue. There's something about laying in straight lines that is so satisfying. You'll have to let me know down below if you agree. And while you're letting me know things, let me know that you subscribed by hitting that subscribe button. Give me a like if you so desire. I hope you will if you've made it this far so far. And hit that notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available. All right, now on to coral, which actually I'm going to put in two places. I've just decided. 
I'm going to align a stripe down the center here. I'm gonna live dangerously by not carrying the polish of the other colors. Probably a stupid idea. Getting a little mixing of the color on this brush, I didn't clean the blue off well enough, so I'm just taking a little bit of acetone so I can get a cleaner line. And now I'm going to do another line on this side. All right, so now for some design work, I'm gonna move the colors aside. I'm going to switch back to the black and I'm going to use my short liner that I didn't earn. The one that I just put down, I tried to clip a stray hair and I ended up blunting the edges. So for this, I just wanna do some squiggly lines. And I had forgotten I wanted to draw straight lines up the length of the bands of color. Hopefully I can do that without making a mistake. This is one of those things where you just have to kind of go at it and not think about it too much. I'm actually going to make that a solid, solid black line in between so I don't have to double line a really thin line. All right, she exhales. She still needs to do a little bit of cleanup. All righty, so on the yellow, they call it mellow yellow. I'm just going to do some dots. And then on, <gasps> what did I do? What did I do? Am I going to be able to do diamonds?
All right, so we are going to top coat this. I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not I want to shiny or matte top coat it. I think I want to keep it shiny, but we do need to top coat it because I used regular gel polish for most of the design. So that needs to be um, set in. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy on it since some of the detail is raised. So I'm just going to put an extra bead of, or stripe rather, of top coat down the center to level it out. I'll hang that upside down a bit. And then that'll go in the lamp for full cure and I will figure out what I wanna do for the third nail. All right, so for the third nail, I decided to go with the same background neutral that I made for the last nail and I am just going to do a cactus. Now I have seen, I'm gonna pull an accent color here. Um, I've seen a few cacti nail designs come around lately and I think it's because it's summer and it's um, obviously warm out in a lot of places. But I don't know when or if it's just always been this way and I never noticed. Um, boho seemed to become synonymous with Native, North, uh, Native American styles or the um, Southwest. But it seems that when you look for boho inspired nail art, you get a lot of Southwest inspired textiles and um, uh, patterns and colors. So maybe it's always been that way and I just never realized it. But I'd love to know the origin of the boho style and how it became um, synony synonymous with the Native, uh, Native Americans and Southwest. So I'll have to look that up later. But there's many different styles of cacti. Um, I'm going with a basic inspiration and then kind of just making it my own doing a few extended arms on the right side. And I'll do some smaller ones on the left. Cacti are really pretty straightforward. Uh, um, yeah, straightforward in their designs. The one I'm referencing, actually, it stops in the middle of the nail, but I don't like floating designs. I like it to continue off the nail. So I'm bringing it all the way down to the free edge. And I'm not really concentrating on smoothing out the gel because I want some texture since cacti do have a lot of sur surface texture. I think that's good for now. I'm gonna cure that. And then I'm going to go in with some shadowing and highlights and then I'll put in some flowers. All right. So for shadowing, I'm going to put, use green energy. Put a little bit here. And then for the horizontal lines that go up and down the cactus, I'm just gonna use some white gel paint. So for now, I'm just going to take my short liner and draw some lines up cactus. All right, and now for the highlights. 
Gonna use some white. So for the flowers, I'm just gonna go in and use the same colors that I used from, um, I think this dotting tool is a little large, uh, from the last nail. So I'm going to use this one. And just boop, boop, boop. All right, so I am going to leave the background um, matte, and I'm going to grab my, no, I'm going to, I'll use the bottle brush. And I'm just going to shiny top coat the cactus. All right, everyone, so that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so glad I decided to stick with it and come up with a design that I enjoyed, something I had fun doing. Um, I knew that if I walked away in frustration that it would make it more difficult for me to come back and wanna do a set tomorrow. So um, sometimes it's good to know when you need to walk away and other times it's good to just stick with it. And I'm really glad that I did because I love the way these nails turned out and I hope you agree. If you do, please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available. I post all the time, multiple times a week, so there's always something if you're looking for something new to watch. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And all the descriptions for the products that I used will be in the description box below. So thank you once again. Hope to see you soon and have a great morning afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is for you.